You know, it's absolutely critical that um, family preparedness be a key piece of helping the country recover from disasters. So local veterinarians really play a key role in ensuring that their clients are prepared to take care of the animals in their lives uh, during a disaster. Um, you know, animals are dependent on the people that they live with and so if the people aren't prepared to evacuate with them if evacuation is necessary or shelter in place with them uh, and stay at home with them during a disaster and have sufficient supplies on hand to weather the storm so to speak uh, you know, it, we, we don't get where we need to be with family preparedness. And the communities really need uh, for everybody in the community to be prepared to take care of themselves for at least three days to a week following the disaster until all the supplies could be brought in if it's a particularly large disaster. So for example, in Superstorm Sandy, one of the, I thought, you know, working on that disaster, one of the crazy things for me was how quickly people ran out of pet food. You know, they, they, that was a disaster where there was just a, a week's worth or more of notice that this was going to be a huge storm. Yet, it, almost immediately after the disaster, people needed pet food and they couldn't get down. Um, the power was out. They couldn't use the elevators in their apartment buildings and they needed pet food and the, all of the stores were closed as well because the the power was out. So it really is critical that people plan ahead, particularly when it's a notice event where people are talking about this bad storm coming, to do the preparations needed to make sure that they and their animals are going to be safe during the disaster. AVMA actually has a brochure called Saving the Whole Family and um, this brochure is really, I think, about the best that's available uh, now for helping the whole family or helping all animals in the family be prepared. Um, so it, it talks about preparedness tips for all of the animals, whether you have companion animals, cats and dogs, whether you have backyard poultry, or whether you have um, horses or other animals. This brochure really covers all of them and what preparedness is needed. Um, it also comes in Spanish, which is handy, and, and I think it's the only one that I'm aware of that does come in Spanish. So for people that need information, veterinary hospitals can get this from AVMA or they can download it and um, print it at their local facility and give it to their clients. But if they could put one of these in the hands of every single client they have and, and encourage those clients to get prepared for an emergency, I think we'd all be better off as a country. This is a dialogue we need to have on an ongoing basis to ensure we're all prepared to weather the storm.